What's up guys, my name is Concussive, and today I'm bringing you guys a game of Team Deathmatch on Arkadon. I'm gonna start this game off... <coughs> Sorry. From the host migration, because nothing really happened before it. All you missed was one kill. And I can assure you it was nothing special, so... Just enjoy watching from here. Uh, this is gonna be my first commentary, other than the dual com, because... I haven't had a mic, but I recently got one for my birthday, so... You guys can be expecting a lot more content from me now that I can make content whenever. So the topic for today is going to be which Call of Duty is the best and why. So COD 1 I'm not even going to talk about because I never played that and I don't even think I was old enough to know what an Xbox was at that time. So scratch Call of Duty 1. I doubt it was even a good game anyway because it was so old and it was the first one so they didn't really have anything to improve on. But Call of Duty 2. The one person who always says that Call of Duty 2 is the best Call of Duty, and I always say why, is Grizz. He always says that Call of Duty 2 is the best because it's lots of memories and nostalgia for him, and it's where his career started and took off and all that shit. And like, I can understand all that shit, like it's nice that you had a good time and that's very sad and you'll never have it again, but that doesn't make it a good game. Like, I like Grizz, but that's just one thing that I've never understood about him. Call of Duty 3 I didn't play, I played it very little. It was basically just Call of Duty 2 with a few better things, so I'm not really going to talk about that at all. Now the big one, COD 4. COD 4 was the Call of Duty game that I decided that I really, really like Call of Duty. Because there really wasn't anything wrong with COD 4 that I could just say off the top of my head. Or even if I thought about it, like, I don't really think there's anything wrong with COD 4. You could use a sniper, an assault rifle, an LMG, SMG, or shotgun, and you wouldn't be overpowered or underpowered. Like, in the other COD games, like Black Ops, like, especially Black Ops, the only guns you can use are the AK-74U and the G-11, and both of those are overpowered as shit. You can't snipe, you can't use a shotgun, and I guess you can use an LMG if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. COD 4, just everything was balanced, the maps were good, it introduced so many more game modes, you could customize your class, there were so many different guns, there was actually a lot of people, they released DLC, and just all of that is what sold it for me, it was just a perfect game. And then when World at War came out, I was all like, yeah, COD 4 was the best, World at War is going to be even better, because it's COD 5, and it's not 4, it's going to be better. I was completely wrong, I didn't like it at all. I couldn't really give you enough reasons as to why I didn't like it, because I didn't play it a lot. But it just didn't feel right to me when I was playing it, like... The guns were different, the maps were different, just the overall layout was different, and it was just, like, foreign to me. I don't know how to explain it, but, like... I guess it was a decent game, but it just wasn't for me. MW2... I did not expect to be good because of World at War, but it was amazing. For the first one or two months, I was just like, this is amazing, I'm never gonna get off, this is the best, I'm gonna get to 10th and shit, like, all that. And then some guy thought it'd be a good idea to make a YouTube video, saying, hey everybody, let's use Danger Close, and One Man Army. Oh, mob fail right here. Yeah, didn't even see him. There you go. And what happens, a million people see that video, and the game turns to shit because all everybody can use is one man army in danger close. So, there you go. That's why MW2 is a bad game. I guess it's a good game, but the people just ruin it. Oh man, Black Ops. This is gonna be a good one. I can't find one thing about Black Ops that's good. There's two guns you can use. The maps are shit. The spawn system's fucked beyond belief. There's people who can get 300 kills in one game on Nuketown. And who wants to run around using two guns and you have to shoot somebody 100 times for them to die? Like, if I wanted to shoot somebody 100 times for them to die, I'd go play Halo because that's actually a good game. I wouldn't play Black Ops ever. Black Ops is just... Oh my fucking god, man. It made me sad when I played Black Ops that the people actually thought that was a good game. Now, MW3, a lot of people said that MW3 was just MW2.5, and, and I don't really think that that's a bad thing, because, like, there's a few slight differences between the two games, because, like, there has to be, 
But if you really look into it, MW3 is basically MW2 without the gay shit. And what more could a guy ask for? MW3 is just like MW2 without noob tubes? That'd be the best game ever. So this is going to be the end of my commentary. Uh, my favorite Call of Duty has to be COD 4. Or MW3. I think it's COD 4 though. So uh, that's it.